Liverpool is Britain's tropical outpost and there's also a weight problem about the place. It sounds a little absurd except to the scientists who are winning unusual acclaim for the Merseyside city that's already high up the scale of world reputations. It's pounds and not pop music, science not soccer that concerns the Liverpool School of Tropical Medicine. Students walk the treadmill to test perspiration rate and skin temperatures in artificial jungle atmospheres that doctors can control with push-button knees. If you can sweat out a performance like this, the contribution to world health can be quite significant. It's the Turkish bath principle all over again, except that a tiny anode strapped on the arm is recording many reactions of the human body. As much as three pints of water an hour can be lost by a man working in a hot climate, and the scales prove the point. Yet the school is also concerned with microscopic details, using an electron machine which magnifies human cell tissue 100,000 times. The magic of the electron microscope brings the cell tissue into focus, enabling the doctor scientists to probe further under the skin of tropical diseases. They even breed mosquitoes at Liverpool, studying them from the early larval stage to investigate the development of malaria and other infections carried by the insect. A sucking tube is used to isolate a specimen from the mosquito colony. These are some of the best fed insects in captivity, with a daily diet of sugar to keep them alive and an occasional blood meal. Here's a place where many vampire acts are all in the cause of science. There's no risk of malaria for the scientist who offers his arm for food. But this is the moment a disease-carrying mosquito gets a bloating expense account lunch and pays the bill with poison. A situation that doesn't 